Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas, happy holidays if you're celebrating today. We're going to start off with that. We are very festive once again today with the Santa hat. And we have a lot to go over because EA are spicing it up for the holidays with some of the best content that we've had all year. Yes, I said it, especially in Evolutions, in that one specific area of the game. And at the same time, yesterday, uh, right now even, I just tried it, there is active a glitch in objectives to get an objective done to get some free fodder like four times in a row really easily so we're going to talk about that today it's almost like a christmas present from ea there is so much to go over yesterday's content with stuff in sbcs and objectives and the evolutions but today could be just as big with potentially more winter wild cards coming to packs that is not known for sure but there may be a couple hints ea have for us here in the menus that maybe leads towards that. We'll just have to see. But of course, we're getting another player SPC today. And we know who it is. We're going to talk about that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content with the SBCs first. And we had ourselves the player SBC that we expected, but not in the position that was expected. Kai Havertz. As a left back, EA has the jokes again, guys. Havertz played left back, I think, in the latest German national team games. And EA thought it was funny, just kind of like we did. A position change left back Havertz with the playstyle plus to match. Long throw, whipped pass plus, technical and aerial, and uh, first touch as well. And uh, basically a well-suited left mid or left back with his, I mean, work rates are medium, medium. So that's probably the worst part about the card in general. If he had high medium or, you know, high, high work rates, then he could be an absolutely insane midfielder. But he does have the whip pass plus. And guys, it is not too expensive. It's an 84 and an 87 rate squad, which isn't that terrible to get done right now. Coming in at about 170,000 coins. It's not very upvoted, but if you look at the market... It tells you a different story. Zinchenko as, of course, a direct uh, replacement for Havertz or Havertz replacing him in a lot of people's teams from 140k down to 70,000 coins. A lot of specifically Premier League left backs dropped off a lot in value yesterday. But this SBC for me is more of like just a fun one or a cool one or just interesting to say the least because it's Havertz as a left back and if you want to craft it while it's out you may as well get it done for the fun of it because it is out for like 27 days so you got plenty of time but the bigger SBC that dropped yesterday was the icon pick now we mentioned in yesterday's video the potential for an icon pick this is a better icon pick than I thought we were gonna have they skipped over the regular base icon pick and went straight for an 87 plus base or Centurions. Now it's three squads to get done and it does require two Team of the Weeks. So if you did invest in Team of the Week, once again, every single week this happens, man. They go up. When am I going to learn? When am I going to just get over the high price of Team of the Weeks and invest in them? I don't know. But they went from about 30, 32,000 coins up to about 38k and I'm assuming they were even a little bit higher than that in the peak of the demand yesterday. Let's double check right now. Informs, I do believe, are like 38,000 coins. So once again, the Inform SBC for the 83 plus team of the week is very necessary. I mean, I still think that SBC is way better than buying an Inform off the market, but people opt for the easy option, of course, and buy them off the market. So GG's if you invested into team of the weeks. Now for the rest of the fodder market, since the price of that icon pick, and it is an icon pick, right? Let's be honest. It's not over 50% upvoted. It's 48.52. But that is an SBC that so many people are going to be doing right now because of the craftability of the menus, right? All the fodder that we get through objectives, the 83 times 10 specifically makes it very craftable. A lot of people are going to be doing it. And you can tell that a lot of people were doing it yesterday by the way the team of the weeks went up. You can do it two times and then it refreshes later on at the end of this week. But fodder... Fodder didn't move a ton, but it did move a little bit. Like, I want to look at 86s right now with you guys. A couple of the 86s yesterday, they're just above 7,000 coins. They started the day off at 7K. They definitely had a spike at the content drop. Some of them went to 8,500 coins. But again, EA continually running those lightning rounds. The 84 times 10s are out, like, almost all the time that are tradable. And people are opening those like crazy. So the fodder just kind of, it goes up, and then it kind of comes back down. We're getting to that point, though, of the weekend where the fodder, the lightning rounds, the supply on 
on the fodder should slow down a little bit and maybe just maybe we'll see some of these prices just slowly rise up during the week this week. I think maybe today might be your last chance to get in on a club stock on some of these if you want to and put some coins into it before it could potentially creep up in price and in value is there's less lightning rounds during the week. There'll still be a lot. There'll still be some, but there will be a probably less during the weekend or at least it'll there won't be as many people opening those lightning rounds past today in my opinion especially tuesday wednesday thursday so that's kind of my outlook on fodder it could kind of slowly trickle up um during the week especially on that middle tier which seems to be kind of supplied the most and the top tier as well uh both in demand right now at the moment now speaking of the store and speaking of packs we also had the biggest pack of the year yep of the year dropped yesterday here in the store i've got 10 and 30 coin packs to open but we're here for the 600 coin pack 600,000 coin pack the ultra wild card pack guaranteeing you three winter wild cards 87 or above and then of course this is this is the 88 times 11 pack and it is untradeable and i do believe there is a direct correlation with the supply not this this isn't tradable but the supply of this untradeable into people's accounts and then at the same time, we have the continual 84 times 10 packs that are like always out. The 86 pluses and even the 81 times 100 a bit. But take a look at 89s. 89s yesterday went from 34,000 coins down to like 32K where they are right now. So that part of the market dropped a bit. Even 90 rateds dropped a bit as well. So it wasn't tradable supply, but the amount of people opening that pack in the store and I mean the SBC that dropped yesterday, none of them needed 90 rated players, right? What do you need the 90s for? Doing Hullet, doing Mbappe, doing those big time, really, really expensive player SBCs. So these cards coming down a little bit in price actually, in my opinion, is a decent opportunity to get on some bids because we know there's a lot of demand and there's more icon SBCs in coming. That could be a little expensive. I don't think there's going to be a ton more that are going to be very expensive more than like uh you know maybe five six seven hundred thousand coins we've got our big hitters like the hullet we've got the mbappe uh we still have the zidane that is out that a lot of people are, are working and crafting towards the eusebio i think a lot of the icon species are, that are going to come from here on out are going to be between the 100 and like the 500k range but still i think that that fodder is what's moved the best throughout the year so to end our fodder talk today get on the bids on the lightning rounds today could be a great opportunity to do some of that now Let's talk about the glitch, guys. If you're wondering what in the world this glitch is about, it all has to do with the new objective that dropped yesterday, the Winter Wild Cards Weekly Trader. And I'm going to explain to you this glitch very, very simply. First of all, what you have to do is buy 50 players and list 50 players. You have to complete the objective fully the first time. Now, I've already completed it once. This is the second time. You can do it four times, right? It still says twice for me. Once I claim it here, I'll have two more times to be able to do it. But the glitch doesn't start until after you do it fully once. So after you do it once, you're going to go ahead and you're going to claim everything. And then the glitch starts, right? I just got all these player picks. I got the coin boost, got the pack. I'll open the player picks right now, see if we get anything good. We get an 84 Benacer. That is sick. And guys, this objective right now is still working. I literally just did it and it worked for me. So I'm going to hopefully show it to you guys. I did exit the game. So we're going to test this objective as well and test this glitch because if the glitch does have some limitations, limitations, we might find out. One more player pick. That was bad. Come on. Hit me with an inform or something at least here. 83 plus 87 Magul. All right. I'll take that. And 85 and 87. Okay. So I just claimed those rewards. Now it says, right, that it is fully not completed i've got to redo this objective now the glitch is after you do it one time you can actually go back to the market and instead of having to buy 50 players all you have to do is actually buy one and list it up and then it'll just kind of complete the whole entire objective for you so i'm going to pick up this bronze for 200 and what i'm going to do is i'm also going to list him and i think it just worked based off of what i just saw at the top of my screen so I just bought one card and I listed one bronze card and I go back over here to objectives and I go to the live tab and I see that I have a fully completed winter wild cards weekly trader. I bought and sold one card and it completes the entire objective. Now you can only do this four times, four times in total you can do this and it does take a little bit of work up front, but it does work and I logged out of the game, logged back in and it still works. So we're going to open up some more player picks right now again. Let's freaking go. That's crazy that this happened. It's almost like a little Christmas present. Thank you for a walkout, EA. It's almost like a little Christmas present from EA. But that is the glitch simply explained. 
and it is nice because you get that fodder. You get it snappy and quick. Don't have to go and buy 50 more players all those additional times. Like, that's huge. Um, and, yeah, boom, you get the player picks and the coin boost. And I will take the 85s that's going probably into Hullet or a Team of the Week upgrade pick or pack. And then an 84. All right, well, hey, I'll take it, right? We got to walk out of 75 plus. That is the glitch. I know I have other objectives to claim. I will get them. Don't worry. Continue to make sure you're doing those daily uh, login objectives. The one is about to end today. I think the radioactive one finishes today with a final reward that is, wait, one is it? It's pretty good. I'm behind. I'm going to end up missing a day. I think it's like a sick player pick. A one of three, 84 plus. Yeah, RTDK TB Centurions. This player pick will be out today if you've completed every single day. I am unfortunately going to miss it by one day because I forgot. But make sure you're doing the Winter Wild Cards daily login as well. Let's move along and talk about the best piece of content that we have had yesterday. I think, guys, that this is in the argument for best evolution that we have seen over the entire year of FC24. This evolution is unbelievable. Growth Spurt 1, right? Some folks are late bloomers, as it says. It gives you incisive packs, technical play style, and the dead ball plus. The crazy thing about this and what makes this evolution so good is that it takes a player and it gives you the ability to take a player who's probably not getting a promo card this year and it puts them into straight into a meta version. I know this guy's got a two-star skill move, high, high work rates though, and a five-star weak foot. 88 rated with dead ball plus. Look at those stats. For playing a few games, the upgrade here is massive. It is not that hard to get done. You do have to play a few games, right? But you're getting like plus, what is it, like plus 10, um, plus 11 pace, or no, no, plus 10 pace, plus 12 shooting, plus 12 passing, uh, 11 dribble. It's crazy how big of an upgrade this is. It's incredible, right? And at the very least, you can you can turn in a 75 rated card and get it up to an 88. If it's like, Nate, I don't know what I want to do with this to get a meta card. You know, like you'll at least get an 88 rated card. If any of you guys, I've been talking about Alessandrini because I did one of his evos earlier on in the year. Another like version of him is available here now. An insane looking card there. A lot of silvers are going crazy on the market right now because look at this evo 92 percent upvoted 100 percent upvoted there if you look at some of these most insane and popular evo cards um it's kind of like either a single upgrade or a double upgrade look at this a center defensive mid from chelsea lavia going to 81 pace 90 defense 88 physical and 88 dribbling that is in insane what a card um ducore from the bundesliga all right that one can't work you got to be careful with a few of these because some of them don't work zaire emery is a very popular one as well. His 87 rated version, you can take him from a 74 rated silver up to a 87 with 85 pace, 86 dribble, like almost holy gang with dead ball plus. Insane evolution. This is so fun. You know what it kind of brings back the vibes of? It brings back the vibes of like the golden glow up at the beginning of the year where you had the potential to upgrade somebody that was a bronze into like a usable gold. But now you can take them from like a silver to like a meta card. Of course, a lot of these guys do have low composures and reactions for their stats. This one's actually a really good one. Toddy from Wolves, 86 pace, 85 defense, and 84 physical. A lot of people are doing center backs and like midfielders and center defensive mids from this. And there are just, there are so many options in here, guys. It is incredible. But again, I will tell you, if you find one of these cards in your club, right, all these silvers are extinct at 10K. The most popular ones that you're going to look up, the craziest Evos, they're extinct at 10K. If you have any of these, be very, very careful listing them because I can only imagine that a lot of people, once again, are going to get banned by EA's banning system because it somehow wrongfully bans people for listing silvers for max price. So if you have some of those cards, honestly, what the play to do is, or if you like pack Kyle Walker, the play is to actually, ooh, sitting at 10K on the market. The play is to actually list them at like just under, like list them at 9.7K or 9,000 coins. There's maybe a little bit less of a chance that you could get banned then. It shouldn't be a problem anyway if you just have one or two cards. But if you have a lot of them and you're pre-invested, there probably will be some bans that will be handed out from that. But that Evo is insane. It's free as well. And they dropped two of them too, which is, again, insane. Guys, EA, EA is going for that interaction they're going for all of the gameplay numbers that they can get during the holidays right new people are coming on the game getting the game for the first time they see these evolutions it's it's just 
what a grind right now on these menus, right? The content is insane. And uh, yeah, EA is benefiting from it. And we do too, right? More fun, more stuff on the game. We love it. Now, all of that to say, let's talk about the market because how is all of this content affecting prices? Because it sure is. A lot of prices that I've seen in the last day, especially on the winter wild cards, guys, these guys are down bad. And it's not just because of like lightning rounds and supply. It's because I just feel like the market yesterday... There was so much SBC demand for either Havertz, but specifically the 87 plus icon pick that it's taking coins off of the market. The paid Evo for Kyle Walker and the 75,000 coins that that cost that a lot of people are doing. More player SBCs, people buying fodder to do Mbappe, to do Hullet, to do Zidane and Eusebio and craft a lot of those SBCs. It really feels like the market took a hit and it's also kind of weak in some areas too. Now we can look at a bunch of graphs from the promo team and just show you guys that how much prices drop dropped off yesterday. Dybala was two, 280, went down to 220. Like he's 230,000 coins for this Dybala is nuts. Like it's just crazy. Grimaldo for 85k is, is crazy. Like what a card that is. Ronaldo dropped off a lot yesterday. Rafinha is, is below 400,000 coins now. Some of the more expensive cards like VVD, Puteas, they're maintaining their prices pretty good. Uh, but that part of the market went down. But then I look at some of the like team of the group stages that we were trading with. I was making some coins on these cards. Look at their prices. Musiala is 610. Let me refresh this. Rodrigo, yesterday, I sold at 460. 460,000 coins, right? He dropped off when Luis Hernandez came out on Saturday. He went from 460, and he's kind of been about 420 to 430. Yesterday, 400,000 coins, under 400K right now. A lot of your out of packs market is dropping. Jude Bellingham is down. Musiala is down. Um, even some like low tier cards. Um, Klaus, 192, right back, right? Alvarez is down. Rafael Leao is down. And as I take a look at other promo squads, like the Dynasties players, um, I was looking down even at some of the UEFA heroes because these cards have been really, really good to trade with. Um, you know, McManaman's down a little bit, still inflated a bit. Bon Pastor is down. Futre is the lowest that I've seen his card. Um, I saw Ramirez is 1.17 again. Like this guy was 1.25 just like a day or two ago. Um, so the market on the top tier, on the middle tier, on the low tier, it is kind of a bit weaker because I think a lot of coins have been drained and people are doing SBCs and not buying as many cards, but I still think there are opportunities to buy and sell and trade and flip on this market. But once again, we've been talking about it a lot. Now we really need to put into action the lower tier guys, especially with today being the day that a lot of people yesterday, today, a lot of people are logging onto the game for the first time, getting the game as a Christmas present, as a gift for the holidays, or maybe they're just buying it on a deal, right? I'm sure there's some holiday deals out there too. The low budget buys. Let me show you an example of a low budget card that has been moving every single day. This Dudek, I mean, maybe you've noticed this, maybe you haven't. After he's gone out of packs, he's gone from 36,000 coins, and each and every day he's just continually risen from 37K all the way to 58K he was yesterday before the content drop, right? And now he's back down to about 51, 52K, but it's cards like this, he could still keep going, right? It's cards like that that are lower tier, lower budget. Another one that I'm gonna shout for you guys right now is Joe Gomez's Thunderstruck card. He moves every single day, right? He's one of the most popular center backs in the game on a low budget. Friday, he was from 77K up to 86. So he's right around 80,000 coins. Saturday, what does he do? Goes up again, all the way to 93,000 coins, back down with content. Yesterday, what does he do? From 87K up to 94K. He went down to 84K. 84,000 coins for this Joe Gomez card was a really, really good buy yesterday for how his price is working on the market. And you see that fluctuation and the card prices like are slowly just going up on the lower tier, most meta cards. So it's cards like this, that maybe if you see them go up today, you, you don't buy, but you put them on your watch list. You put them on your radar and you say, okay, today, like we're gonna talk about in a second, if there is panic, because as you saw in those graphs, like for Joe Gomez, he goes up and then he goes down after content. He goes up and then he goes down after content and then he goes up again, right? If you see more fluctuations like that today, that could be a really, really good place. Cordoba is another card that I just thought of right now. Yesterday went from 296 down to 250. What? That's a crazy price. Went back up now to where he is at 280. Saturday, you know, 
dropped a little bit after Compton as well. So watch your lower tier cards, not just center backs. I know I just looked at a couple of center backs, but low tier cards, Premier League specifically, right? There's a lot of hype for Prem cards right now. Out of packs, hype, rare, meta. That is where I would be buying cards and trading at the moment because there is the most potential for movements there. So do a little bit of research, look on Footbin, look at some graphs, watch some prices, and you'll be able to make some pretty good buys. And especially, I think today might be the last day of like some panic right now. Why could today cause panic? What could be different about today? Well, there is, and we've mentioned it, there is news and a potential opportunity of somehow more cards coming into packs today. It is Christmas Day. They did this last year. They put the re-release. We already have a re-release right now, the winter best of. But what they did last year was they put a best of out in packs, and it was all of a surprise, and we didn't know that it was coming. But the rumor for today is there's going to be more cards released in packs in some variety. And the reason why this also kind of makes sense is if you see in the menus, my face cam is hiding it right now, but the winter best of is in packs for seven more days, whereas the winter wild cards items are in packs for only four more days until Friday. So why are the winter wild cards the best of? Why is this stuff in packs right here for three more days? Like what's the difference? Well, I think there's going to be more cards dropped in packs today, but what I don't know if it is, is more best of cards from pre-release promos, or is it more winter wild cards items? And as we've seen, we've got more leaks for winter wild cards players. Mukiele has been leaked as a winter wild cards player. We've got a tap Soba that is coming as a winter wild cards player. Think about the links to Frempong. That'd be insane. Zakaria is coming as a winter wild cards player. We've already looked at cards like Doku who have been leaked. We've got David Alaba who is leaked in the, the leaks that we looked at yesterday. We've got a Kyle Walker and an Nkunku. So the number of players that is leaked right there is, is not a ton. It's a decent amount. And obviously also uh, cards that have been evolved recently, right? The Kyle Walker like we talked about yesterday. Alaba, a lot of people just spent coins doing the team of the week upgrade for him. And Kunku people upgraded earlier on in the year. But that's besides the point. There's only like what? One, two, three, four, like five, six, seven cards that have been leaked. And then maybe some icons as well. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused here. I just feel like there's going to be something added to packs today. I just don't know what it is. Maybe some old other special cards added to this list. Maybe there's a best of two. Maybe there's a best of mini release. Or maybe it's more winter wild cards, guys. Usually winter wild cards is a two-week promo. And that's the other thing that those leaked cards like in Kunku and Kyle Walker could be pointing towards. Like a legit second week of this promo that would start this Friday and then and then move on into next week. But the weird part about it is, like we saw, the best of re-release is in packs until seven days from now. So it's going to go out of packs next week. Uh, yeah, it's weird. On a Monday, it's it's really, really weird. So it's maybe like a promo and a half, a one and a half week promo. I'm not entirely sure. We'll wait and see what happens today on this game. But I do think more cards are going to be re-released in packs. More lightning rounds, that definitely means for sure. So that could create some panic and more opportunities to watch the market for moves. Now today at SBCs, we know what's dropping. We got the list. It is Del Piero. And I'm personally excited for a Del Piero. Another reason why I actually was looking at that Barella card, uh, because I think maybe if this SBC is hyped, that will be a card that could go up a little bit, right? Barella, Team of the Group Stage card, very rare. You guys know that I've been talking about him. And that would be a card that directly links to Del Piero and would maybe be a compliment. Now, the problem with Del Piero is what position is he going to be, right? And Del Piero is a card I think has some crazy potential because he's got a five-star weak foot on his base card, right? This card is finesse plus four-star, five-star. He's medium, medium. He can play center forward, cam, and striker. Imagine they give him 88 pace. Maybe make it like baby Del Piero, but better stats, right? We don't need a baby Del Piero, but you know what I'm saying? Like the baby Del Piero and all the old FIFAs was the better one because he had more pace. Finesse plus dead ball. He's got flair and technical. So maybe throw on a couple other play styles there. Give him five star, five star and high medium work rates. This could be a freaking nuts card. Kind of an emotional one for me. One of the icons that I used a long time ago that I just always love in this game. Finesse plus fantastic. Just love this guy, right? So I'm hoping that his SBC is cracked today. And uh, I hope they don't change his position or at least keep his position similar because he just, he's, he's just fit in game for a center attacking mid type of card. And um, yeah, they've changed a lot of the positions on the icons though. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll see that SBC is definitely coming today. And then also 
maybe there's more opportunities for upgrade packs, right? I mean, the 84 times 5, I think, came out last week on Monday. Yes, we already have the 83 times 10. If we were to get an 84 5, that would mean maybe some more inform requirements and informs Team of the Week's going up on the market even further. But I think today, maybe in the SBC department, might be the beginning of maybe a little bit of a quieter rest of the week. The content probably hit the hardest in the weekend, maybe slows down a bit from here. I would also say, guys, with all the Evos that are leaked, there is definitely more chances for more Evos today, which I don't know how in the world I'm going to get all these Evos done. I'm going to have to get to playing some squad battles because I know they don't expire for like a month or whatever, but you want to get them done semi soon, right? There are so many really good Evos out right now. Evo Chains that I'm working on, still working on the Ragoni. Got to get working on Kyle Walker. Got to put somebody into the brand new Keeping the Balance. The Like a Rock Evolution. <laughs> there's so much, man. But there's more coming as well. So maybe another Evo today. Maybe not. But we do have a couple of leaked Evos still to come. And then, of course, more store packs, more lightning rounds. Let's end the video off with a quick 10 and 30 coin pack real quick because I haven't opened those yet today. And they're only out for two hours more. Ooh, I got to hurry up here. I hit a, I think I mentioned I hit an Eze and I hit a Kimmich in one of these packs earlier. Looks like that's going to be, wait, is that an 84? Is that Muniain? Nope, it is an 81. All right, that was a, an L 10 coin pack, but hey, it's 10 coins, so we're not going to complain. And then the last one, 30 coin pack. Can we hit a banger? Can we get lucky? And then actually, you know what? We'll open an 83 times 10 if we don't have a dupe, because I do have one of those sitting around. Portuguese left back, Marco Rui, I think. Uh, the 81 rated? Ooh, okay, yeah, that was pretty mid. Be tradable for the lads. Oh, it's not. Whatever. All right, I'll quick sell it. Let's open it 83 times 10 to test our luck. Um, I don't know. I I'm looking for promos. I'm looking for specials. I haven't got one. I've only got one special card. I got Zaha um, out of one of these. Is it a... It's Oberdorf. It is a double walkout as well. We do like that. That's going to help with the whole craft. Come on, it's just going to be a gold, though. Give me a Harry Kane. Cobble, so 287s. Drop me an informant behind, pretty please. I ask for that, and I do not receive. I get 285s. That's going to go straight to the team league upgrade, and we will get ourselves an inform and do the SBC again. Still the number one SBC right now in this game for sure. But enjoy the holidays, guys. Enjoy today on this game. Hopefully EA drop a banger. They still haven't fixed their typo here. Repeat tail upgrade SBCs, repeatable. Maybe they'll fix that as part of Monday content today as well. Probably not, though, because it's a holiday. But again, enjoy the holidays guys stay safe have fun if you are celebrating if you're not enjoy the rest enjoy the time away um as i'm sure school works right off for a lot of that stuff whatever your situation may be i appreciate you thank you for watching the videos as always as we end off this year strong with winter wild cards and uh yeah the streams will resume in a couple days not today but potentially tomorrow is the plan we shall see i'll update i'll up update you guys on Twitter. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. See you guys there. Peace. Out.